Now to the latest in Ukraine. President Biden announcing new ways the U.S. and NATO will step in to help Ukraine as he meets with world leaders in Belgium. This as Ukraine's president delivers a stark warning to NATO. Help us or you could find yourself on the receiving end of Russia's aggression. Alexis McAdams is in Brussels with the latest. President Biden is here in Brussels meeting with NATO leaders. This comes as the United States has now announced they'll accept 100,000 Ukrainian refugees. Today, President Biden attending a series of closed door emergency meetings in Brussels to pressure Russia to end its invasion on Ukraine. President Biden joined 29 other heads of state during the NATO summit. The leaders deciding on a new path to help Ukraine and ways to punish Russia for its brutal invasion, including new sanctions. We have a responsibility uh, to uh, prevent this conflict from becoming a full-fledged war in Europe involving uh, not only Ukraine and Russia, but uh, uh, NATO allies and Russia. World leaders also discussed ways to reduce Europe's dependence on Russian gas and how to deter China from helping Moscow. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky addressed the group via video chat. This time, he did not ask for a no-fly zone or NATO membership. Instead, a warning of Vladimir Putin's greater threat to Europe, asking leaders to send 1% of NATO tanks and weapons. Russia doesn't want to stop on Ukraine. It wants to go further uh, against the eastern members of NATO, Baltic countries, uh, Poland, that's for sure. As concerns over Russia using nuclear weapons increase by the day, a Russian diplomat warns nothing's off the table. If Russia is provoked by NATO, if Russia is attacked by NATO, I don't know. So we are, we are nuclear power. Why not? Next up, President Biden will be in Poland on the ground to discuss the ongoing humanitarian crisis. In Brussels, Alexis McAdams, Fox News.